All right, good morning. I was originally going to make this an Instagram post, but I have so much to say about it, and I think there's just so much I can bring up and other memories that are going to come up as I'm talking or other points, and I want to get it all across about becoming a personal trainer, something I got my first personal training certificate about six years ago. Um, I, all throughout high school, every course I took was supposed to help me become a personal trainer, biology, health science, all that fun stuff. And then even on top of my studies, I would read everything I could online. And I don't mean just bodybuilding.com articles because they're just recycled. I mean, like I'd dig up medical journals and stuff like that and just keep reading. I wanted to know as much as I could. And after a while, it kind of got disheartening because you realize as long as you diet hard and train hard, you're going to get results. There's just a million different ways to do it. And that's where each coach, guru, diet plan, meal plan comes in. It's just their own spin on very basic principles. There's only so much you can do with broccoli and rice, am I right? And so a big one is I hear a lot of people like, hey, I want to become a personal trainer. What do I do? Start training people. Simple as that. It's better if you know what you're doing, but hey, there's a lot of successful trainers out there who do not know what they're doing, or they found their niche and they're going with it. I had a good friend. Uh, when I was originally looking at getting my first uh, certificate, he had the same one that I was going for, so I'm asking him about it. I'm like, well, what was it like? And he told me he got it when he was 16. So he started getting clients, you know, he passed and everything, started getting his clients, started making money. Went to uh, university, he got a degree in health science. The only thing that changed from his basic cheap weekend course certificate in his two-year bachelor degree was his liability insurance. He was given a lot more once he got his degree. His clientele didn't change a bit because people don't care. If you see a big guy in the gym, you automatically assume he knows what he's doing. It doesn't matter how many degrees he has behind him. You could probably have a guy with a kinesiology degree right behind him, but he's so small you won't even notice him. And so that is a big difference. Now... And another example is, picture you have a doctor. He's read every book. He has been studying for 20 years, and you need open-heart surgery. He's read every book, but he's never done open-heart surgery. You have another doctor who's done a lot of open-heart surgeries, but he's never read a single book. He's shown to be very successful with open-heart surgery, but he doesn't know any of the antidotes. He just knows how to do the surgery. Which one would you rather pick? You're probably going to the one who never read the book just because he has the practice i remember when i first started becoming a personal trainer i was getting all my certificates and learning and stuff and there's just big guys in the gym who just ate a lot but they're getting more clients than me and they didn't know the first thing what they were doing but hey they got successful doing it now i do think you should at least get one certificate or at least do some schooling for it so you know what you're doing but even still beyond that, you should really learn how to market yourself and how to sell your programs. That's a huge bigger one. You could always, and also if you want to work in most gyms, you are going to have to get their cred credentialed program or whatever it is. I know um, I like fitness has a little weekend course you're supposed to take. Gym I go to, they have a little weekend one too. And so if you want to do that, you go work in a big chain gym. They take a lot of your profit. But they bring you a lot of clients, too. It's a great way to build up your clientele. If you want to be an online coach, you're going to have to do more than just put it in your Instagram bio. But that's one where you definitely don't even need it. I let my personal training uh, certificate expire. And I just told people at the bottom of my little template sheet, I'm no longer certified. I do this mostly to save budgetary reasons. The insurance is like 70 bucks a month. If you're a personal trainer, by the way, you're certified and you do not have insurance behind you, you got to work on that. Mostly because if you have a, it's actually really hard to injure people in the gym. Even a stupid trainer, it's actually really hard. Unless you're trying to hurt someone. Like how many of you have actually gone to the gym and freaking died? Probably not. It's not like I'm bringing in a beginner client, putting 405 on the bench and telling them to rep it out for sets of 10. No, you're probably going to get them doing three sets of 10 and they might have a little twitch here and there, but that's about it. For the most part, they're going to be fine. It's actually really hard to hurt yourself in the gym unless you are trying to. Oh, what was I even saying? Ugh, we were Okay, we're going off a little rant about it, hurting people in the gym, right? Liability insurance. So yeah, I just didn't want to spend the extra 70 bucks a month. I don't know, that's cheap. And again, I wasn't expecting to hurt anyone. But again, uh, you might want insurance in case your client goes into the gym on their own or starts following some stupid low-calorie plan. 
hurts themselves, but they said they're being trained by you. It makes you look bad. Most of the time I look bad as a trainer. It's more because my client was being a douchebag. When I put you on a meal plan and you send me a photo of the cheeseburger you're eating you mother... I don't know if I'm going to be swearing on this channel or not. It's probably going to come out eventually. And so, yeah, that's mostly what I got to say about being a personal trainer. Do certificates help? Yeah, kind of. They're, they're nice to have. It shows you know your stuff. And it's always good to be building your knowledge, too. You, you never know everything. You got to keep learning. Even if it's just reading stuff online, talking to other trainers, learning stuff like that. And another big one, become friends with trainers, too. I know there's going to be enough clients. There's enough clients for everybody. So be friendly with other trainers. Who knows? Maybe they can help you. Me, I had trainer friends who, like me, I focus on helping people build muscle, lose fat, bodybuilding type stuff. And so I would have trainer friends, one who was in the CrossFit, one who's a powerlifter, one who's a basketball player. I took the football players, and we helped each other out that way. I wouldn't want a gymnastics coach coaching a, vol a football player when it comes to tackling, maybe for agility, but that's about it. So yeah, don't be that know-all, I am the greatest trainer in the world, because you're not. And ask for, okay, we should bring up the steroid thing. That's another one when it comes to the field of practice. Me, personally, I don't know the first thing I'm talking about when it comes to that. But another one is, I don't think a lot of big-name steroid gurus know what they're talking about either. They mostly know about steroids because they used it and they saw how it worked on them. They've probably never actually, like, read a book on it or, like, learned the actual chemical name. And so that's a big one. So if you are enhanced in bodybuilding and you're looking for a trainer that's enhanced or you want to be an enhanced type trainer, you should actually know a little bit of science. This is when you don't play around with stuff. Again, it's I'd rather have a doctor that's done the open heart surgeries and never read a book, but I'd still prefer my doctor to read a book or two. So yeah, if you have any other questions, I'd love to do a follow-up video for this. I know I forgot a bunch of things, and I'm going to have so many stories come up. But thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share my channel. Deal with my ranting. Send me presents. Compliment me. I could kind of use it. Freaking love compliments, guys.